Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm going to be continuing yesterday's video, uh, or the last video, uh, by showing you how to take the photos that I mentioned yes in, in the last video and start applying them to Society6. How do you get uh, designs ready for Society6? So I'll be happy to show that today, and I'm going to show you kind of my process that I teach my um, virtual assistants to go ahead and do. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my tools here, and I'm going to start using these tools to download some images. So I made in my last video a kind of like a little tutorial to show you where you can get them and how to get them. I'll leave the tool links in the description box down below. I'm going to be using this tool and this one. The, the differences between the two is one is half the cost of the other. They're both really good. Um, if you're going for obviously... Tight. If you have a tighter budget, go with the cheaper one. If you have a better budget, definitely go with this one. This one gives you the analytics and the uh, a larger array of images. These give you some, you know, a good amount of images as well, just not as as many, and uh, just definitely there's no analytics. So keep that in mind. So, anyways, so what I did is. I'll search for something like a tiger and I'll download certain images that I like or I think would go good from a um, society six on a, on a society six product. So for example, this, this image looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and download it. And once the images are downloaded, whatever image I want to use, let's just say I have, let's say this image, I'll take this one and download this one as well. Um, after I do that, I will have the images already downloaded. I'm going to upload them into my application here called Lumnar Neo. Um, I'm sure you guys are eventually going to use this app. This app is extremely useful. It has upscaling, editing, lots of things. I'll leave the discounted link in the description box down below. So once you click on it, you'll be able to have a discount automatically applied uh, if you decide that you want to use it. But I'm just showing you, like I said, my process as to how I use it. And um, the reason why I only show a few applications in my YouTube videos, guys, is because I only use a few. Um, I'm not using, I'm not going to say other people's names of softwares because I definitely don't want to, um, uh, you know, disrespect them. But uh, I'm not going to just say names. You guys know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, let me go ahead and upload some images here. You could see I already uploaded some images. Like this tiger image came from the other tool, the cheaper one. So if I search for tiger here, right? This is the cheaper one once again. Um, it's got, well, let me go to like page three, for example. I'll go to this, let it load, give it a second. And the image was right here. And both of these tools are uh, adding images pretty frequently. So um, yeah, anyways, there, there's a few images that I downloaded, but um. What I'm going to do now is I have certain images uploaded, and, and the first thing that I have to do is I have to keep in mind that I need, will eventually need to upscale these images. And it doesn't matter what image it is uh, for uh, Society6, I'm going to need to uh, upscale all of these. So this image, has, if you look here, it shows the sizing. And so like this image, which is the first one, um, has it's 4,770 pixels by 3,330, which is great. It's really nice, really big. Uh, but I need it to be even bigger when it comes down to Society6. Um, with an image like this, once again, good. 4,400 pixels by 2,900, it's good, but it's not good enough. I do need it to be bigger. Same thing with this, same thing with this, same thing with all these, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, for example, this... Um, Let's go with this image. Why not? This tiger sitting pretty majestically right here. The image is great. Like I said, it's really nice, really high quality, but definitely needs to be bigger. Before I make it any bigger, I'm going to see if I can make any edits to it that will kind of make certain colors stand out. So I'll go over here and I'll scroll down. And first thing I'll take a look at is my develop. So I'll just click on develop here and I'll go to smart contrast and I'll either drag it all the way to the right or all the way to the left to see the differences in the settings. So you could see here, if I move it to the right, it kind of becomes a little bit too washed out in terms of the lighting, too bright. And then if I go here, it's a little bit too, too dim. So what I really want is I like this dim aspect because it shows more greenery in the background, it makes the tiger a little bit more clear to see. Uh, but I definitely need the uh, brightness to increase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my highlights 
just slightly, kind of like this, decrease my shadows. So basically what I'm saying is I want what's ever dark, I want it to be darker, and whatever is light, I want it to be lighter. And then I wanted this smart contrast to the left, which looks significantly more clear than the original. So this is what it looks like now. This is what it used to look like, right? Um, you guys don't have to go through this editing part. I'm just taking it full advantage of the tool that I pay for. Uh, so yeah. All right. Now that that's taken care of, I can go over here to color and I can choose different saturation of things. So I could choose a higher saturation like this. Or I can choose a lower saturation. I personally prefer this really high saturation. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I might decrease it just like a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty good. So once again, huge difference between this image and this image. Right? You could see all the color. You, it's very clear. Well, you know, I could, if I wanted to, I could zoom in on the eye of the tiger and really see some of those crazy details and you guys could see here i don't know if my camera my my screen recorder is picking this up but crazy details here so now that that's taken care of for me now it's time to upscale so the image is already once again 3029 pixels by 2019 so my goal um, i'm gonna say for most of my designs i want at least 10,000 pixels now the largest product um that require well it's not the largest product but it requires the largest size is your duffel bags on society six and the duffel bags i believe um i think it's like close to like fourteen thousand pixels or something like that so it depends on what products you want to have it on now in terms of a duffel bag it's unlikely that a product like this would sell on a duffel bag because of the nature of the photo because the subject is in the middle um so that's kind of not always practical uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do in this case a, a 2x f at first, see how fast that goes, and then I'll, uh, I'll think about doing another 2x upscale. So that went by pretty fast. It's at 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. Why not? We'll do another 2x. Now for this, um, you just want to sit there and wait a little bit for these upscales uh, because, once again, these are pretty pretty large images and you're looking at images that could be over 10,000 12,000 15,000 pixels even so they could take a little bit of time um this one is pretty good so right now it's at 12,116 pixels by 8,076 pixels which is pretty decent it will cover i'm guessing around 92 products uh excuse me not 92 maybe like 20 May, uh, definitely over 23, maybe 24 products on Society6. So I'll go ahead and hit disk here, and I'm going to give this a name. So I'll call this, let's just say I'll call this um, Tiger or, you know, any kind of name, right? It doesn't really matter. So now that it's saving, it's time for me to now upload it to my Society6 once this saving is completed. So I'm going to pause the video and move along with the upload. All right, so clearly it's uploading right now. The image is almost fully done uploading. And what you want to do is you want to upload one of the same image. So what I mean by that is this image right here is an image that prioritizes horizontal sizing over vertical. Does that make sense? It's more horizontal than it is vertical. Basically, it's more wide than it is long. Does that make sense? And if I have this exact image, like in a length perspective as well, I could upload it here as well. Because what happens is, is Society6 is basically asking you to take the exact same image and upload it again and again, but with different sizes. Now, what you can do to reduce that upload time is just uploading it in the one size as large as you possibly can. In our case, we don't have variations of this exact same image, so it wouldn't make sense to upload different images. Does that make sense? A lot of people, a lot of beginners make this mistake of uploading like different images and think that that's going to do something positive for them. It's not. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue here. I'm going to go over here and hit agree or represent whatever and does it contain mature content the answer is absolutely not and we'll go ahead and continue and now what it's doing is it's saving this product as a draft okay it's saving it as a draft and what it's doing now is it's preloading all of these uh products right on the 
or all of the images on the product. And the, and the product is, the, the images, excuse me, look absolutely phenomenal from this perspective. Now, if you notice right away, not all of them will be enabled, and that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, we're going to hit select, and we're going to hit enable all. And so when I said earlier I thought it would be 92 products, look at it, it's 90 products. Why is it 90? Because 90 is selected based on the size of the actual image. If the image doesn't fit for that specific product, it cannot be selected, it cannot be enabled. If you have all of the, the products enabled, it will look something like, I think like 94 or 96 or 97, something like that. I can't exactly remember too much um, because we don't always create uh, like, pro like the duffel bag you'll see here is the large, like it requires the largest uh, size and we don't always go up to that. So, you know, it just depends on the situation. Socks also require a pretty large size, but, you know, it's it's on the pixel uh, selection, right? So you have the horizontal selection, you have the vertical selection. And if something doesn't fit that vertical need, then it's not going to fit. Like, for example, the socks, it's all vertical. So it needs more pixels vertically than it does horizontally. Something that I will say is... Keep in mind what Society6 sells the most of. So Society6 will sell the most of everything in this section here. So let me show you. From this section, from wall art, all the way to here, it sells the most. Here's the second, hand, the second group that sells the most, third group, and so on. So essentially, it's safe to say, right, that Society6 will sell more uh, bath mats, for example, than it will of cutting boards. And that's not really my choice. That's not something I've selected. Uh, this is what Society6 does. And you could even try to, if you have sales or anything like that, you could look into your sales charts. For me, I'll say that most of my products either sell somewhere in this category or in this category. That's just me. Um, but obviously, there are certain things that depend on it for your design type and things like that. So... Uh, overall, the margins are a lot better on Society6 than some other websites, but obviously you can control that in the earnings section. Um, so anyways, now that you kind of got that done, you could see now what products are being uploaded. There are some times in certain situations where you can go ahead and you can change the calibration of the image. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like now. And I don't want this video to go on for too long because we can certainly make more videos. But if you see here, this is going to be an example of a general phone case um, product on Society6. And when you look at the image, it looks like the tiger's face is somewhat cut off in the case. Now, this is not the worst thing in the world. If I wanted to take an extra minute, I can go over here and just move this slowly to the left, just like this right, without really kind of losing frame on any of the uh, the, the, the uh, bleed area or the extended art area. And the reason why I don't want to do that is because I, at the, after I apply this, I can apply this change to other products as well. So if I go over here, hit generate preview, and this is, let's just assume this is something that I like, and I can give it a while. Depending on the size of your image, it will take longer or it'll take shorter to generate a preview. Um... But after you generate a preview, if you say you like it, right, if you think it looks decent, and I, sometimes I do recommend to really take the time, just look at the preview, right? If you like it and you're satisfied with it, you can just go over here and hit save and enable. Now, what's going to happen is when you click save and enable, you can apply the cropping to any, any product. So, he, well, not any product, but certain products in the category. So here we have iPhone skins. I can take this and apply it to iPhone skins. And what I'm applying is I'm applying the change that I made, right? So the change of moving it to the left, that's the, uh, that's the thing that I'm changing, right? So we have iPhone skins. We have Android cases, right? We have Android card cases. We have iPhone card cases. We have, uh, you know, different products like that. So let me just see here. We have rugs, outdoor rugs, zip tee, hoodies, shirts, long sleeves, crew necks, bath mats, tank tops, just hit enable, right? So I enabled this setting on four different products. So if I was to look here, there are really no other mistakes that I'm too mad at when it comes to the products. Now, I'll say this. There are some products that just by the nature of your design, they're not made to fit on. So for example, if we look at this Apple watch band, the Apple watch band is so thin that either way, 
no matter really where I make the edit, it I'm not really going to get any benefit out of this. So if I change this to like this or like this or like this, yeah, it might make a small difference, but it's really not going to make that significant of a difference. Does that make sense? So yeah, I could enable this, but it won't make a tremendous difference, right? So I can look at, for example, this product. Where is it? It's like a table or a bench, whatever it's called. Let me see here. It's a... Hmm, I know it was here somewhere. Uh, we have the yoga towel. Here it is. It's one of these. Um, it, because of its nature, it's like a be like if it's so horizontal, it's so excuse me vertical, it's not going to appear well. Things are being edited, so that's why they're kind of not appearing. That you know they, they'll take some time to appear, but I can go to something like this, like an active T-shirt, and just simply move it right? And in some cases, like I said, you're not always going to have the ability to move it like this one. I can move and it will be a little bit better. But then again, certain things it's just not made for. And that's fine. My, my goal through selling on Society6 is not to enable my product and make it perfect for all of the products, but only a specific group, right? And I don't have a specific group when I say, oh, I want only benches or I want only rugs. That's not my goal. My specific group is as many products it can possibly be on looking decent. That's all it is. So like I go to a product like this, and even though this product is not perfect for my image, I can still alter it slightly. And if I really don't want to waste time doing it, I don't have to. I have 10,000 literally products that I can add on the account. So it's not that big of a deal. But once I'm completed, all I have to do is add my tags, add a description, select here, category, finished. Um, as for tags and things like that, I'll leave that to the Society6 ebook that I created. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Hopefully, this was helpful. Peace out. Bye.